G'day, my name's Ian and today we're going to have a look at um, doing a bit more formulas in Excel but we're going to look at triangles and doing you know the length of the hypotenuse and the angle and that and you have to understand like what you've learnt on being able to do it on the mobile phone doesn't work in Excel the same way because Excel works in radians so we have to do a few little different things but anyway let's just have a look and see if we can make it all work and here we go. Fun with Excel. Right on. So we're going to start off with, um, I've got the spreadsheet set up the same way I always do it. Bigger, makes it easy to see and all that sort of stuff. So I'll put in the base and we'll put the base in at 4. And we'll put the rise in at 3. Okay, so we come across we want to get the hypotenuse. Okay. And... I'm going to put the formula in, equal, equals, S, Q, R, T, so square root, open parentheses, which is a fancy name for brackets, and we're going to go uh, B5, 5, and you see the blue lights up, so B5 it is, and... We're going to square it, so raise it to the power of 2. And plus, we're going to go C5. And we're going to raise that to the power of 2. And then close the bracket. And hit enter. And hopefully, whoa, there we go. 3, 4, 5. The triangle that we all know. and uh, So that's pretty cool. So... What would be really good is to be able to find out that triangle. And this is where it gets a little bit more complicated because normally with um, uh, the iPhone and that, it's the rise divided by the run inverse tan tells you what the angle is, but it doesn't quite work that way with this. So anyway, here's the formula for it. So equals a tan And it is C5, 5, divided by B5, close brackets, and then it, we're going to multiply it by 180, and divide it by pi, bracket, bracket, and hit enter, and hopefully, well, got it wrong, what's the problem, okay, uh, uh, there we go, that should be uh, divided by pi, there, there we go, simple as, so 36 uh, 0.87 degrees. Now the beautiful part, let's have a look here. I'm going to go control C. I've got to copy all that and I'll paste it down here. And what do I want? Oh, I, want I want I want the formula, so away we go. Now let's have a look here. And we'll make that one. We'll make that one. And there we go. Oh, oh, there it is, that favourite number that keeps popping up, 1.4142, 45 degrees. So I could make this one base, so I've got 1,000. And let me see, uh, 420. Okay. And wow, look at that. So like in the little red roofing book, a thousand on four twenty up gives me a run or raft length of a thousand and eighty four and twenty two point seven eight degrees. Man. Okay, and once I've done it, once I've added those formulas, I never have to look at it again. Anyway. I think it's worth investing the time while we're all wondering what to do. Have a look. Anyway, cheers. Bye.